Hello, it's me, Andy from Blitz Gaming. I will have a great week. And today is lovely in the UK. Well, today is. It has been absolutely awful the last three days, but today is great. Today we have got a fan from Silent Tium PC. They're fair of five. That's with a silent um, Silentium PC case we got. Let's have a look at it. If it's AM4 and Intel 1200 and their other sockets. So look at the manual. It's false. AM4, AM33 Plus, AM2 Plus, FM1, FM2 Plus. Turn over the other side. Intel 1150X. 1200, 775, 1366, 2066, 2011 version 3. Does not support 1700. Now, I'm not saying it won't. You might find uh, if you bought this, um, so PC may supply new brackets uh, for the fan, I think it's 1700 on their website. You know, you may supply them for free or Basically, the fan's not going to fit at all. We won't know that until the fourth, really, or until they've updated their website. So, if you're planning to buy a fan, don't buy any fan, all in one, no nothing at all, into D Day. Otherwise, you might be wasting your money. So, we've got 120 mil fan. Oh, dear, nasty. You chop your hands off on that. It's got teeth on there. Nasty old fan on there. Intel bracket. Intel and AMD bracket. That's I see. That's the back plate. And then they have to change for the Intel. We have got here two sets of fan fittings. So it supplies one fan, but you can have a you can buy another fan and have a push pull. They actually do this in three versions. One's an RGB, and one which comes with the two fans already fitted. What the price difference is, I don't know. This is the only one I had at the time when I got it. Comes with some silent gem. PC thermal paste, we won't use this. We will use uh, Arctic MX5 thermal paste. Accessory bag. Now, I have just looked on the net, yeah, because I've actually just looked at this five minutes ago and thought, hello, this don't make sense. Now, today, brackets for the Intel. Now they supply these, these are uh, silver, uh, basically standoffs. But they will supply, supply these standoffs. The silver standoffs are for LGA 2011, 2011 version 3 and 2066. The black standoffs are for all the other LGA sockets, including the AMD sockets. So you got the standoffs, and then they you got the fittings, which uh, fit to the bracket. There, if you're fitting Intel times four, and you're fitting AMD, you don't need that because these will fit into the back plate. What comes with your motherboard? I tell you, how you get one with your motherboard. Your sure motherboard should have one. Someone's taking it off and forgot to put it back on. Well, I can't do nothing about that. And they they screw into there, then. That screws down there like so, or that way up, one the way the other. Then they screw on, blah blah blah. And on the inside, you got that like that. That's underneath the board. That clamps down. So and so. Okay. Well, let's do it for real. Now you see me show you what does what. Okay. So we've got the back bracket, and I've already put three of the clips in, and I'll just do the look. 
last one on camera. So the way it goes in, where well it's got arrows, yeah. This side is not flat, this is the way it goes up onto the motherboard. So you get one of these little metal brackets, little clips, slides into the slot the other side. And you push it in like so. Now we want it in the middle position. We want A and B. There's little letters here, A and B on show. I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's A and B just there. A to side, B that side. That's in position for the 12. And the 1200 board, we line those holes up. Now it would be nice if these actually slotted in the hole, but we ain't got that lucky. <laughs> Basically, they line up with each other. So once they're lined up, we get these, and then the old black uh, standoff. We screw in position. Get two of those in at an angle, and then we know where everything's ready to go. So you just put them in, tighten that, break it up at the back. So I do them up hand tight, I don't give you no special tool to tighten them up. Simple as that really. Then you get the big silvery plates. Okay, we get the silvery plate. Now, before you put this on, you want to make sure your CPU is in position. Yeah, otherwise you won't be able to open the bracket and put it in. This goes down. Now, this can go in any way, but you'd want it, uh, your orientation, where your fans want to go. So, this side would be uh, where we're sucking air in and blowing out through the exhaust. So we want it this way around, and then they, like I said, you can go any way you, you want, but we're going to have the fan in the direction of the exhaust, and then they, we get these four screws, heads, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, time do it at an angle as well so the old diamond button just make sure it goes down with equal pressure and there we go Now, I'm not going to paste this at the end of the day, but I will fit uh, the cooler. Because so I'm not going to actually have it um, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the bracket. So then you put the cooler down in position on those two prongs. And tighten up. Now you need a Phillips screwdriver. I'll just tighten it up enough so it's just sitting on top. And then we get the fan. So we've got the cooler in position. At the end of the day, it's a little bit loose because like I said, I'm going to take it off in a second and put it on the other board. So I'm not going to paste it. We get the fan. We put the clips on the outer side. And then they on the first set of holes on the outside of the fan. 
bring him bring him back. And these little handles that are going to slot in the grooves. So yeah, so there we are. And then they all fitted, ready to go. And that's it, really simple solution. Yeah, this is just enough room on there to get the old memory on at the end of the day. I mean, the fan's pretty good. It's got these nice big rubbery uh, corner pieces. Stop it from vibrating. Make a racket, which is good. I mean, it's simple, really. The only thing I do like about it is the back plate. Um, it would be nice if they actually went for the holes in a mobile so they can be in position, make life easy. At the end of the day, I was there. We go now. Let's switch over to AM5. Sorry, AM4. Okay, now we're on AM4 socket. First thing we need to do is remove these brackets. We don't need these brackets. Cool, blimey now. And then I say we'll leave that in this position, so to take the back out, and then reline up the holes. So now we put these uh, standoffs in. Oh, drop one, not good. I've got to admit, this is the first time I've ever used a Silentium PC cooler. I think I thought because I've got one of their cases and I quite like the case, I thought we'll give the fan a go. You can see there's another version of this board. And there's two holes there. Well, he sink. At the end of the day. Right. Now we get the, uh, the bracket. And same again, we'll have it away. Um, now, this one actually lines up completely different. This is the outside of these holes instead. There we go. Um, just able to check in. It's not the way we want it to go. We want it to go. This is that's the way we want it to go. So exhaust coming in. So air coming in. Exhaust going out. These little nuts. Now this is apparently the same for AM3, AM2 and all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you want to go back in time, but I very much doubt you be doing that. I should think if you're buying this, this fan, you're obviously on Ryzen, AM4, or yeah, you've got 1200 or 1700. Now I'll let you know, um, according to AMD, AMD have stated when I go to AM5, all fans what are available on AM4 will fit AM5. Because they're using the same setup. As I said earlier, um, it does state on their website it is compatible with 1700 socket. So there we are. Now we get the old thermal paste wherever I've decided to put the thermal paste. Now I didn't show you on the last one because we were taking it off to put it on here. Don't forget you have got to put the thermal paste on. Now, then they don't go by 100% by the video. Now, 
Now I've noticed that, I don't know if anyone else has used this, this MX-5. It spreads quite a lot. It goes places. And I'm still trying to work out exactly how much I need on the system. Okay, the fan. It has to go down evenly. There we are. Okay, let's get a fan on. So, where's the fan header? Fan header there. You won't put it like so. Around there like that. Now we're we'll on the other camera. You put these clips, as I said earlier, on the outside. Pull them foot, pull them back. Got to make these uh, metal clips a bit on the old thin side, I have to say. But I do do the job. Just make sure they're in spot. There we go. Plug the uh, Fan in. Now I said that MX5 stuff goes everywhere. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's come out this side. And it's come out that side. So she's gone everywhere um, at the end of the day. Like I said, it's quite thin stuff. It does find ways to go places you don't want it to go and then there he goes he just sticks to everything um i like it because when we don't te well we don't do a test one but when we were i run out of mx uh arctic silver this went down another 10c when i use this stuff over arctic silver but i got me arctic silver it doesn't go all over the place okay so there we are, I am full version at the end of the day for the Ferro 5 CPU cooler. Note, this is a large cooler, it comes right to the edge of the Scientium PC case. At the end of the day, I will put the dimensions up now. Easy peasy, really. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. That is all.